YouTube. What's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. Now this video right here comes out of Prince George's County, Maryland, where we have 10 anonymous women, quote unquote, anonymous women, who claim that a doctor that wasn't licensed, that was really basically a fake doctor, not like the doctor uh, Oz that you see on TV show, he fake also too, but more like the Florida doctor that I did a video on a couple of days, uh, Dr. Love, Malachi Robinson, if you will. Though for those of you who remember that story, the little young guy who basically dressed up and pretended to the world that he was a doctor while going around cashing uh, hot checks and also buying cars with those hot checks and ultimately getting caught up and getting sent to uh, jail for a little while. But anyway, but we have a doctor who's a, really an immigrant, not even from this country, and way older older than Dr. Malachi Robinson because he was a young boy when he was doing his thing, like 16 or 17. But this man right here is well into his 50s and still trying to perpetrate a fraud. So I'm going to read a snippet from this story and I will give my opinion surely as we go. Lawsuit. Faye doctor practiced medicine, delivered babies at Prince George's Hospital Center. He was all up in there doing everything, trying to get that piece of change. Now, at least 10 women say their patient rights were violated by a man who purported to be a gynecologist at Prince George's Hospital Center. Now, this guy right here was basically playing like he was a damn OBGYN, looking all up in these women's cookies and every damn thing else, and wasn't even certified. Ain't that something? Now, Prince George's Hospital Center has acknowledged that they employed a man who is said to be Dr. Charles J. Accato. The hospital also acknowledged that he used a complex and sophisticated identity theft scheme kind of damn scheme he used because if he if he could perpetrate on being a doctor y'all probably be doing thorough background checks i know if you do a background check for a damn janitor he got a damn felony somewhere in, in our arkansas and y'all track that down why the hell could you track his uh record down and see what the hell he's been involved in? he might be involved in arm smuggling smuggling uh elephant tusk and every damn thing who knows now however the hospital maintains they completed a diligent and thorough back background check of this man who practiced at their facility the same thing they said about the doctor now this guy was a doctor the video i did yesterday about the uh the uh mr get up all in your ass doctor doctor aka back that ass up you know the one that was uh basically having sex with these women while he was doing quote unquote rectal exams but he was really back there doing some rectal exams all right now a week ago a class action complaint was filed in federal court by 10 anonymous anonymous women coming forward claiming Akata allegedly falsified the majority if not all of his medical degrees documentations and identity as he practiced medicine as a gynecologist at hot at a hospital for a total of eight years from 2008 to 2016 as both a resident and then as a doctor. So he ended up basically learning, walking around with the scrubs on, then all of a sudden he 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 do away with the light blue and put on the white. You know, he got that coat, he done earned his stripes. Now, how in the hell did they recognize who this man was? I don't know. But, you know, that's just like a lot of things that we see. Because when you go to some of these uh, prestigious hospitals, most of the good doctors are either Iranian or African. You'd be like, well, okay, well, you know, you just... You know, it's what we used to, you know. But anyway, now one woman whose baby was delivered by this man has come forward. She said he has messed up my health afterwards, said Jasmine Tinsley, one of the alleged victims. But throughout the entire time, I put my trust in him. And now to find out that he is actually a fake, I am very appalled in, in disbelief because I wouldn't expect a hospital to not do a thorough background check on people that is willing to work on them. I would expect them to really do diligent background checks on people and expect those people to be who they say they are because the name that he introduced me isn't the name that he originally is. And that's what a lot of people, a lot of them names be different when they come to this country, they adapt a new name because remember, number one, he's not even from this country. You know, his his name, um, matter of fact, I think his name is uh, Olawa Femi Charles Igbaris. You know, he come over here and call himself uh, Dr. Charles J. Akata, you know, trying to uh, adopt more of a westernized europeanized type of name even though akata ain't european you know so but charles is <laughs> now he was indicted by the federal government the u.s attorney general in june of 2016 for a fraudulent social security number and how the hell did he obtain that said uh, attorney jonathan Shokar, they then executed warrants at his home and found a false passport a false social security number altered immigration documents, altered diploma, altered medical transcripts, 
altered letters of recommendation. But the, the key is, even though all this was false, evidently this guy was very, very smart because for him to to perpetrate the fraud for so long, which means he had to be halfway intelligent. Now, why did he get his uh, his uh, right credentials right in, in the country that he was in? Because remember, he had no right to even be in this country because everything he had was false. False documents, false passports, and everything. So he was a, still a, an intelligent person. Now, I don't know why, what made him, you know, do what he did and to come over here. But at the same time, you got to give the man some credit because the guy is very intelligent, even though what he did was very wrong and very ignorant also. And that, you know, he will pay for that. But he he is not no dumb guy. To think of all that stuff, you ain't, you can't be no dummy to get all that stuff false right there because you got people who can't even get a damn extra uh, ID card, better yet, a false passport and documentation, diplomas and everything. Now... Through a spokesperson, Prince George's Hospital Center said in a statement, We are aware of a lawsuit filed on behalf of patients who may have received care from Dr. Charles J. Acado. We intend to vigorously defend a lawsuit which is based on assumptions and accusations that he was not a trained, licensed medical professional. Dr. Acado is the identity used by a trained and licensed physician in the practice of obstetrics obstetrics excuse me in gynecology when he delivered his private patients at our facility dr Okado completed his residency in obstetrics in gynecology at howard university in washington dc he demonstrated the breadth and depth of clinical competence expected of a resident in obstetrics in gynecology he underwent biannual evaluations of his clinical knowledge and surgical skills based on the fulfilling the core competencies of residency training subsequent to completion of his residency program in obstetrics and gynecology dr Cotter was board certified by the american board of obstetrics in gynecology in 2014 now it goes on to say some more things but it also says back in 2014 prince george's county said they looked into Ocado for operating as a doctor without a license eventually the case went federal and he was indicted on that charge last year now, these 10 women in the complaint and at least 100 other women have told lawyers they were also patients of Ocado's at Prince George's Hospital and are seeking damages as well. That's a crazy story right there because you have all kinds of things going on with these doctors. I mean, who can you trust in this world? Like I said yesterday, I mean, if it's not the cops doing something, if it's not these crooked judges or whatever else, or the teachers having sex with the student, now you got to worry about the doctors, the preachers, and everybody. I mean, I don't know what the hell to say, but I know one damn thing. This man right here... He would have been a successful doctor if he had went about it the right way. Nobody's trying to take away the knowledge that he has because evidently he has some knowledge. But you know what? It's, it's kind of strange that even some of the smartest people in the world always do the stupidest things. You think about that also because you have people that's so intelligent that they can go in there and mimic and act like they're a doctor and do certain things that doctors do, but yet and still, they still don't even know how to cover their trail up. They don't realize that they're going to get caught one day, and a lot of them do, you know. But at the same time, it's a sad situation, and to all the women that got violated, you know, hey, you know, I, I feel sorry for you, but at the same time, you know, file a lawsuit, go through with the lawsuit, sue them and get, and get whatever you can out of them because, you know, we have to stop these people from imitating and trying to perpetrate a fraud on a our society because if you don't have the right credentials you know you don't need to be operating in that capacity you know because there's no telling how many people that have the right credentials and they try to get that job but they already had a full staff or whatever else so you got to think about all that stuff but let me know what you all think in the comment section about this situation right here and to this dr charles j Carter, uh ola Femi, charles igbarez you need to get yourself straight because you too old to be having women busting it wide open and you ain't even certified to even look at it. You got to have license, you know, I I even if you ain't a doctor, you still got to have marriage license to even look at the thing, you know, and here you is looking at it for free. Let me know what you all think. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, also subscribe to next time. Y'all stay blessed and keep your legs closed so they pull out the right credentials. I'm out.